Encounters between surface dwellers and creatures of the deep happen far more often than you would think. Some of them are orchestrated, and some of them are entirely accidental. One thing is for certain, all of these meet and greets are uniquely terrifying and fascinating in their own right. Here are massive sea creatures you are most likely to encounter. Pilot whales. Our first pick doesn't actually call for getting down and dirty in the deep, dark water, but it's still an incredible encounter, all on its own merit. When whales talk to each other and humans witness, it's a beautiful thing. There are plenty of places where you can catch whales gabbing with each other, but none are as chatty as pilot whales. Technically, a huge dolphin species, pilot whales can be found in all corners of the seven seas, but they prefer temperate and tropical waters. Like any true extroverts, pilot whales prefer to travel in huge pods, sometimes numbering hundreds. Hop on a charter boat to eavesdrop on their loquacious lingo for yourself. Hammerhead sharks are some of the most elusive animals of the seven seas. They are also some of the weirdest. With giant bars of cartilage and skin slicing across their maws, it's unlikely that a random diver or snorkeler would have a chance upon these prehistoric fish, let alone a whole school, unless you go out looking for them. Venture just beyond the reef at Sanganeb Atoll in the Red Sea, and you'll find yourself inundated by these strange swimmers. Surface paddlers won't get a chance to float amongst the sharks, so don't hope to peep at one through your snorkel mask. You have to get low. Hammerhead sharks love chilly water, and you have to sink to their level. Once you've left the security of the balmy shallows, you'll start to see ghostly forms emerge out of the cold ocean. Hammerheads aren't aggressive by nature, but who knows if or when one of these big beasts could decide that you're a good afternoon snack. Venture deep at your own risk. Killer whales. Serious question. Do you have to be a special kind of daredevil or simply a special kind of stupid to jump in the water with some of the most colossal cetaceans on the planet? Your answer? We'll shed light on how you view our number 11 pick in the frosty reaches of Tisfjord, Norway. You can swim with these massive mammals. Killer whales have slaughtered humans while in captivity, and nobody knows how a pod of these creatures will behave out in the wild. You're truly rolling the dice with your life. But hey, when else will you get a chance to jump into the chilly deep with some of nature's finest predators? Our next pick are super cute creatures that can go from zero to 100, depending on the day. Sea lions are notoriously territorial creatures that will not hesitate to bring the pain if you invade their territory. And like the watery dogs that they are, sea lions can be extremely dangerous if provoked. Still, tons of people are smitten by the adorable animals, and tons of humans have insta-worthy encounters every single year. The most popular place for this activity is Charles Darwin's old stomping ground, that righteous playground of animal activity, the Galapagos Islands. Clumsy humans hop in the water with these expert swimmers, letting them zip in loops and twirls around them. It's an experience for the ages to be sure, but what happens if one of these perfect paddlers gets a hair territorial? It's best not to think about it. Manta rays. Unlike their stingray cousins, majestic mantas don't have a venomous barbed tail. Their tails are whip-like and will leave a nasty bruise, but not necessarily send you straight to the hospital or to the morgue. People love swimming with these gentle gliders, but you have to have nerves of steel. They are at least 15 feet wide and will overshadow any human with their massive watery wingspan. There are plenty of places to check out manta rays in the wild. But their sweet spot is the warm and lovely waters of the Maldives. Fearless divers will leap into the water with the big rays, holding a peace offering of fish for the hungry mantas. These rays suck their food in, give a quiet nod to their human benefactors, and keep on swimming. It's an otherworldly encounter for sure. Humpback whales. 
slide into the warm waters of the South Pacific, and you might just chance upon something miraculous. Humpback whales nursing their young, right beside you. Nobody wants to get between a mama and her baby, especially if that mama is a 50-ton beast, known for being territorial. If you want to walk or swim on the wild side, jump on in! The Kingdom of Tonga is absolutely famous for its humpback whale encounters, specifically radiant new mothers and their precious babies. Theoretically, the whales in this region of the world are so used to people that they don't register surface dwellers as threats. Theoretically. The reality is that humpback whales, like all mysterious mammals, will only tolerate humans to a point. Crave something bigger? Our number six pick is right up your alley. Whale sharks. Get into the briny deep with the largest fish on the planet? Yes, please. Whale sharks might just be the definition of a gentle giant. Gliding through the temperate waters of the world's tropical regions, from Australia to the Philippines to Hawaii, these breezy behemoths drift through the sea, sucking down their snack of choice, plankton. Although they rarely feast on anything bigger than tiny fish, whale sharks would rattle anyone. They can swell to a jaw-dropping 50,000 pounds and are longer than your average school bus. Still, most whale sharks wouldn't hurt a fly, and swimming with them is a bucket list worthy adventure. Sea turtles are the sea's most chill creatures. Although they are generally harmless, these shelled swimmers can give you a shock if you're not prepared. That's because they can weigh over 1,000 pounds and will swim up to you out of nowhere if they suspect you have a fishy snack. People pay tons of money to have a once in a lifetime encounter with a school of sea turtles. But remember to look with your eyes only. Sea turtles are a protected species in much of the world, and touching them is a great big nope. You might be tempted to stroke the shell of a sea turtle, but we promise that you'll want to keep your hands to yourself when it comes to our next pick. Basking sharks. Like whale sharks, basking sharks are huge animals that generally don't pose a threat to humans. But you wouldn't know that from their gigantic gullets that open for minutes at a time to suck in every tiny fish in sight. Basking sharks have hypnotic maws, and seeing one coming out of the shadows at you can cause a full-on panic attack. Divers and snorkelers in the northern part of the United Kingdom chance across these creatures, not often, but frequently enough to chill the bone. Unlike whale sharks, basking sharks don't camp out near the equator. They prefer the chillier regions of the world like the Upper Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. Manatees. These chubby mermaids are true Floridians, where they are celebrated and protected in the Sunshine State. The coolest thing about manatees? They are totally people-friendly, and not shy about swimming straight up to representatives from the human world for a face-to-face -face peek. Florida's mysterious Everglades are the best place to catch these big beauties in real life and plenty of places offer you the chance to snorkel right alongside them. Earn the trust of these mega mammals, and they might even allow you to give them a quick belly rub. Rest reassured that you will not want to extend the same service to our next pick. Mako Sharks Great whites get all the credit, but Mako Sharks are the real assassins of the sea. You don't want to tangle with these cranky predators either, because they aren't shy of going round to round with humans if they have to. The good news is that if you catch a solo swimming mako shark, you're likely out of the woods. A single shark is probably just trawling for their favourite snacks, giant tuna or swordfish. The real trouble arises when you get tangled with a school of mako sharks, as they can be territorial pack animals with a vendetta for anything unknown. Strangely enough, some people seek out encounters with these agile hunters jumping straight into the water with the wary Makos. Whether you're an epic thrill-seeker who prefers to take your chances in the deep, or merely content to watch from the sidelines, Mako Shark encounters are an epic experience. Bait Balls Unlike many of the others on this list, bait ball feeding doesn't give you a one-to-one -one encounter with a certain type of marine animal, but a whole host of apex predators. Bait bowls are delectable schools of fish 
that swim in huge packs, with sardines and anchovies as the most likely fishes to team up like this. What is designed to create safety in numbers proves to be an unfortunate delusion. These swirling living bait balls can be seen and sensed from miles away, providing a hearty snack for carnivorous fish on the hunt for the ideal bite. The bait fish are cornered, forced to swim in an ever-shrinking sphere of certain death as dozens of aggressors descend upon them in a bloody gorge fest. Whether you think bait ball feedings are nature at its cruelest, or nature at its coolest, is in the eye of the interpreter. Like all animals of the sea, bait balls move in predictable directions. You can actually see the tragic feast from start to finish, watching predators whoosh through the balls at breakneck speed, expertly snapping up little fish in their gaping maws. It is certainly not for the faint-hearted, but it's a hell of a cool animal encounter, and just about the only time you'll see the interaction between predator and prey playing out right before your eyes. Just stay clear out of the water if you don't want to be dessert. Have you ever had an interesting encounter with an animal? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to What Lurks Below.